is what we call shocking. Vijitsu shocking. Direct method combinated with jujitsu. Very important to understand. No one, no one, no one, no one is going to let you hurt them out in the street. No one. The man will try to stop you. I stress this over and over and over because repetition of the mother's Get it sunk into your head. I don't care what art you practice. I don't care what art you train in. Nobody is going to let you walk up to them, throw them, lock them up, break their arms, snap their wrists, choke them out. You have to earn the right to do anything to the opponent outside in the street. And the only way you can do that is by controlling that man's focus, controlling his vision, taking him into a different area, different frame of mind, and then shocking so his mind is focused on pain, and then you can go into your technique. I'm going to be utilizing Sensei Master Scott, Master James. Between the both of them, I'll be showing locks, holes, shocking, of course, on Scott because he got some of the equipment on. And Sensei James, I'll be breaking it down and showing you the detailed lock, how to get into lock to lock, what we call combination locking. Okay, this is what made Professor V famous. The shocking and the combination striking. Okay, and the combination locking. This is what made him what he is. Because he's the only one that I've ever seen that put it together in such a flow, with such a flow, to make sense. And some concepts we're going to throw at you. We'll start out from someone coming up to you. We'll start out from someone coming up to you and approaching you. Now understand what happened. Right here, stop. Right here. Right here, when a man came into your cover zone, might have threw his hand, might have asked you, might have showed you, might have pushed you, came into your space. People understand something and understand this. Depending on your next move, that will make all the difference in the world to this man. If this man came to you, that's a power move. He stopped you. He shoved you. He pushed you up against it. His adrenaline is flowing. It's at its highest level. You don't know right now. What this man is capable of, he don't know what you're capable of. But I'll tell you something. If you do this to this man, what's up? What are you going to do? And you flex, and you just took this step forward to challenge him, his whole body chemistry is going to stay like this, like a tight fist, tense and ready and alert. You show no sign of weakness. Understand the concept, real self-defense. You got to show weakness in order so you can have an opportunity to apply the strength later. If you don't empty your cup so you can fill it back up again, you're going to be in trouble. You can't square off it. What's up? And square off with this man, his body's going to be turned. So you take a step back. We call this sign of weakness. It shows weakness, retreat. If you do this, this is what we call a power move. You make a power move forward, or you, hey, hey, that's a power move. If I step back, he's going to step forward. If I step to the side, I don't understand. He's going to either step to the side or he's going to stop me. Weakness. But I don't, by any means, shoulder to shoulder and square off and step forward. Okay? So he approached me. He came up to you. He stopped you. Ho, oh, calm down. Yo, please. What's up? Always put your hands up in a non-threatening manner. Step back. Weakness. Now when the person approached and the person came up, because of weakness, now you have a lot of things going for you. Right here, when he stepped back, he stepped forward, boom, you can just automatically quick shot into the groin using that quick groin strike. Because he stepped to you, you stepped back, he stepped forward, bang, shot, bang, there you go. You got your groin shot, you got your air smack, you got your strike to the face, boom, you got your elbow, boom, you got your knee, bang, you got your shin strike, take the man down, Got what you want, right here. No hesitation. It's all right there. All because you did this. You step back. What's going on? You step back. Brought him forward, opened him up to come forward. Once again, you don't think this works? You don't think it makes sense? Don't use it. But I guarantee you that if you did this to this man, it changes the whole situation as opposed to you going, what's going on? Well, gonna, he's going to come to you. He don't fear you. Because if he feared you, he would have never came up to you in the beginning. The man feared you. That is the reason why. Don't fear you. That is the reason why he came up to you. So when you move back and show weakness, he will continue boom, gotcha. to come forward. That will give you this. That will give you that. If a person press you, come up where he's on the side to side. You know how we do this nonsense? 
When you stand side to side with people, men have a problem. Well, what's, the, what's up? What's up? Shoulder to shoulder, shoulder side to side. Let me give you a couple of concepts of vijitsa. Okay? First, it came up to you here, and you and him got into a verbal combat. You let it get to this point. Look at where his ear is, right here. It's right there. Your shoulder to shoulder here. Automatically, I know what can be done from here. The mistake that most people make when a person does this is, yo, get away from me. What happens when you did that? Space. Space for the gun to come out if he didn't have it. Space for the knife to come out because when he was like this, and you know you had him because of my automatic, yo, get off, get off. I don't want nobody to tell you. Step back. There it came. If a person ever make a mistake and come this close to you and try to intimidate you like this, shoulder to shoulder, or you square up, don't ever give up space. Don't ever try to space yourself out. So you need room to fight. Keep it here. Keep it here. If you lock him up, just grab him and lock him up. Here, he's pressing your shoulder. Here, you lock him up and that leg come up. I got to show you this slowly. Right there. You break the leg, break the kneecap. You come in from here, you press me, the guy, what's up? Hit, shift, boom. Right into your arms, people. Right into your arms to choke him. And now when you choke, you don't hold him there and try to choke. You whip him. You whip him around to take away what? His balance. So he don't understand what's going on. So when you press in here like this, you say, here, push, here. Automatically, you rush it. Take away his balance. Spin him around. Circular motion. Take him down. Head hit the floor. Knee on his face. You have the man. This is direct method. Direct method. Here. Sidestep and press. Notice the foot. Sidestep and press. The hand was here because he's pressing. Oh, what's up? Cat, sidestep and press. Right underneath the arm here and you whip him. Bang! Right into the face. See, this is into the eyes. To the vision. Attacking the vision. Yeah. Into the eyes. He want to see. Yeah. Choking him up. Now breaking his balancing, confusing him. Yeah. Man doesn't know where he's at. Here. Knee. Throw. Elbow. Groin. Hit. Stop. But you never want to give up any space. Defense against. Fix your shin guard. Defense against a hook punch. We use this all the time. Thousands of different methods of blocking from a hook punch. You've seen this. You've seen this. We have a lot of stuff, type of different blocks. I showed you before, we use what's called touch and go because it's the quickest and the most effective. When the man strike here, you motion in. When you hit, you turn your hand. Strike, strike. That's four. Quick, strike. The person's hit, shot into the groin. You throw, kick the shit out again, right there. Got your back, stomp, got your knee, hit. Man, it's thoroughly shot. Touch and go, touch, go, go, go. Here, hit, shock it. Presses down, kicking, stomping, stomping, dropping the knee. Boom, on the head. Defense against the hook. Grab, right here. Show you another method now. Or oh, there's a hook punch. Boom. You see the direct shot? See how the strike hit it? The man struck, the man hit. Boom. Lord, as quick as this is. Short. Came here. As I block, boom. little jab. I didn't come with no, he, he punch. I did this. Then I applied to the chest so you can see how it works. Right there to the chest. Here, together. So now when you do that to a person's face, bang. The head shoot back. Boom. See, I don't hit and bring the hand back. I hit, I palm, I push. Now, once again, the head, body motion back. Uh, I drop a knee into his groin. Boom. I blast out the shins now. Look, got the arm for the breaking. Lock up, break the arm. Snap it. Break, kick, ribs, heel, snap. Let's take that now. Again. As I strike. Watch. Hit. Look at the elbow. Ooh. Look at the elbow. Yeah. Look at my hand. Here. Yeah. Look at the groin. Ooh. Strike. Hit. 
There you go. Now I want to work a little floor technique. There. Break him now. Man is right there. Ain't going nowhere. Stomp and finish him off. Defense against the back grab. Back grab, back hold. Never, ever, ever let a back grab become a back choke by you just pushing. Yeah. Got to guard against that. Never, ever, ever let a back grab when you dip your body in motion and a man catch you drop as you drop and choke you out. But now you got no balance, you're down here. It's bad enough when you throw the hands up, but it's even worse when you drop your body. From this point on, you control the hands and you stomp, kick. Notice the shin guards as I'm kicking. Boom, the legs come out and the butt. See? The butt. It's the hardest strike you have. Here, 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 here. See? The butt. Kick, cross, kick the leg. That allows me now, as you turn, when I, when I moved out, I could elbow, I could elbow, jump, I could drop, bang, I could hit the face. Now, I feel it. I got the jujitsu lock, the wrist lock. Got it. Stomp on the foot. Now, I have what I need. Punishment. Boom. Lock it up. Punishment. Uh, punish. Uh, punish. Got what you want. Stop the man out. <coughs> Defense against a two hand garment grab. Once again, concept. Two hands is on you. I would never let anybody put two hands on me, but if it happens in the event, you don't want to go and create distance again. Motion causes motion. Motion causes motion. Forget that. People, two hands on, you got two hands free. And when you're doing this, and the person jerk you, hold, hold, you act as afraid as you can. And when you do, look at the top, hold on, wait, hey, boom, you're moving. Look at the shin, bam, I don't gotta look down, look at the shin, bam, I don't gotta look down, look at the knee, boom, into the face, push your head down, bam, stop. You finish the man off. Okay, now I'm gonna show you, says the J, more artsy stuff, more jujitsu, more locking, more holding, more shocking. Not that direct method where you just break the man up and destroy him. Now you want to add a little art to it. Same type of technique. Let's use defense against a hook punch to start out with. Defense, remember before we did the touch and go? Now before I just broke the man up and it came in the shock and knee and bam, kicked the shins in. Now I'm going to show you how we do what we call control the float in the hand after we shot. Defense against the hook, but touch and go, shot. You turn the man's face, turn. Now this hand is floating. Here, break. One, here, break. Again, turn it. I got another break right here. So we're locking. We're keeping the locks on. We're locked. We can shot. We can hit. We can hit. I still got the lock on. I just tell you time. Lock it in. Go into another armbar break. Turn it. Go into another armbar break. Step back. Now this was called butterfly lock. Thumb is there. Wrist lock. I'm locking the joint. Taking from here. Locking the thumb into each other. Boom. I'm locking the thumb. Butterfly lock. From here. Breaking the finger. I got the lock. Boom, I can shot. Bam, I can hit. Boom, I can punishment. All my punishment is there. If I want to take the man from here, knock him out. Now, back into the arm bar. Taking him down. Right to the floor. Here. Finish him off. I got to kick. Break it. Hit him. Stop him. Man is down. I'm still not using throws now. I'm just using the jujitsu. Okay? Backhand strike. Turn it around to the other side. Always keep your hands up. And now it ain't a matter. Watch. Let's get artsy for a while, but we got a what? We got a shot. After we got the block hit, boom. You got the break right there. You hit break. Come back on the shot hit. Boom. Kick the shot hit. Now, from here, how do we apply artsy? Here. Ready for the choke. Here, lock him up. Stay back. I kill your boy. Stay back. Into his eyes. Control the vision. Man, give you any hard time. You don't stay there choking him out. He's going to try to throw me and he pulls an argument. It's like, no way. Yeah. See, I attack his eyes. Now he can't throw me. Can't think about throwing the guy. I dig his eyes out of his head. Here, choke him up. Now I turn him around. Boom, I head butt him. Boom, I got him into a circle guy. Boom, he goes down. Here, notice I lock up now. Pinky lock. To the fingers. Keep that right there. Clear. Lock it up. Wrist. Knees on the head. Lock it in tight. Pigeon. I reverse that pigeon. Turn it out. Control the wrist lock. This will bring the man right over on his face. Right where I want him. He's here. Control, looking around. Knee to the head. Stop. 
Shoulder blade, break it, break it on the other end. Break it, sit, break it, turn around, kick. Two-hand garment grab. Remember before the man two-hand garment grab me? And before I took it into here, hitting, kicking the shins out, blasting. Now let's get artsy. Two-hand garment grab. Two-hand garment grab. It's here. Pull me in, man. Man, pull you. Man, put you want to put this failed guard in you. He's holding you. He's shoving you. No, calm down. Relax. Yes. Head. Ah, ah. Head is top heavy. You don't push from the neck. You push from the top of the head. As he grabbed you here and pulled you in to him. Here. Huh. What? Ah, ah. Center of the throat, top of the head. Choke him right out. Right here. Stick it. Ah. Ah. Now, knee him. Ah. Ah. Headlock. Ah. Snap in the neck. You see that? Here. Snap. Snap the neck. Put him in. Do a choke again. If you want to, you got the choke again. Now, look. Any hand I want. Left hand or right hand. I can break it up. If I want the other hand, I switch up. And I take the other hand. Choice is mine. Whichever you feel more comfortable with. Now, here, once again, break. You can get artsy again. Step back into an arm bar. If you want to control him. See? You have this. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Don't give me no hard time. But let's say you mess up. And you're not trying to choke you. Strike your emotion out again. It's not a problem. You come right back into your wrist lock, right back into your arm bar. You have your motion. Try to bend. C cup. This is called C lock. C. You have him right here. Drop the man. Right down to his knees. All the time. Full control. You just allow after lock. Watch my hand carefully. Watch the hand. Watch how my hand rotates in a circle. Putting his fingers into my palm. And I take it down, boom, into a finger lock, using the floor as a base. Okay? Right here. Let's say I don't have a floor. Or I don't want to use it as a base. You pull up. You take it right here. You got him on the other end. Look. Fingers, elbow to the ground. Fingers bent back, knee into the throat. Very powerful. Very powerful lock. Very powerful lock. Hey, moving, moving on, back grab. Once again, I'm just showing you the same thing, but the difference is using the way I use the art form and compare. I still have to shot to separate the hands, but now when I get the hand, stomp on the feet to break the balance and movement. Here, when I get, look, I got the hands to lock up. I got the hands to lock up. The hands are right here, but watch, coming in there, grab. I can lock him up again. Boom, I step my body behind now. Here's Artsy. Here's Art. Watch. I can take him and I can just throw him. Or up. Let's go. I can take him. From here, stop. Here, move behind him. Or I can go with him. Right? Up. Let's go. Grab. I can shot. Boom, boom. Kick, kick. I can take it. Instead of going with him, I break his leg. Coming down. Right there. On motion. The choice is mine. Up, says when I shot, came across, I put my leg in. Notice the feet, they're in. Break it down. Bring the man right down. Got it. Where, where I want. Move, try to rise. I wasn't ready for him to come up. Take him out. Hey, okay. One more thing I would like to show you. Very important. Close. When we're here. Eye to eye. Where is his focus? It's here. Focus is here. So why would I try to punch him in the face? It's not going to work, people. Focus is there. It's here. Looking you in your face. His hand may be up. Eye to eye contact. You can't try to hit a man high. Here. Man is here. Oh, come. Boom. Yes, right there. He never sees it. Punch him right in his groin. Boom. Right here. <laughs> Snap the neck. Right there. Boom. Shoot to across the throat. With an Osoto guy. Man is right here. Looking eye to eye. Uh, drop it. Boom. Elbow on the head. Once again, snap the neck. Turn it around. Lock it in. Here. Write it down. You can do what you want to do. But the thing you have to remember, controlling the focus. This is where his focus is. If I want him here, make him pay attention to here. You got this. Hit, hit. You're hit. Boom. You're shot. Damn. Your elbow strike. Damn. You come across with your elbow strike. Here. Boom. Down. It's easy. It's easy. As long as you understand, <laughs> the 
Don't give up space. Jiu-Jitsu is a close quarter art. People that can go from lock to lock, hole to hole, break to break, doesn't make a difference. As long as you understand what Jiu-Jitsu is all about. Once I touch him, I got him. Close, close quarter fighting. Not distant fighting, close quarter fighting. Utilizing palms, elbows, knees, shin kicks. When a man grabs you in a hole, you can't expect to just go like this and lock a man up. He's not going to let you. You got to pull him. You got to shock him and then control the floating hand so you can work, so you can bear, so you can take advantage of it here. Because if you don't, if you don't understand the power of this, then you're not doing jujitsu. Push. 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 What you're seeing today on this tape, I want you to understand what Vianna's just so is all about. Street self-defense art. We give you stuff quicker, faster than anyone else. When we come here, our concept is to take you and make you the best self-defense person we could possibly make you as quick as possible, people. As quick as possible. We don't have five months, six years, seven, 20 years of training. You don't have to wait to be no black belt. The whole thing is you understand the concept, the mindset, and understand that you're ready. From the time you walk in, we start working on your mind. Mental attitude, first thing, change you as quick as we possibly can. That's what Vianna Jitsu is all about. We want to make sure that when our people come out here, they can walk the street feeling good, feeling confident, feeling safe, knowing that they know how to do something. Not worried about how much fancy stuff they know, how many cottages they know, how many forms they know. They ain't got to worry about that. You got to know how to break a person down, direct method, use what you can't use, what's available to you, take advantage of it, understand our concept, and you have it. You have it. It's a real good system. It's a real simple system, real easy system to understand. Today, we had uh, Sean Howard with us. Today, Master High. We had Master James with us. Okay, we had Master Scott Stewart with us. And of course, Grandmaster Professor V, from Lorenzo Visitation. He is the teacher of teachers, right here. This is the system of systems. Not putting on anybody else, but we incorporate what everybody else is. System of all systems. This is Professor V. My name is David James, okay? I'm the head Shion in this school here on 25 Park Place between Broadway and Church. Please come on down, check us out. You'll see for yourself the school has a lot to offer you as far as street self-defense is concerned if you want street self-defense. Thank you very much.